What is up everybody? So somebody that I haven't seen anything from in quite some time regarding the making a murderer case just popped back up. Norm Gone, I think that's how you say his last name, G-A-H-N, I'm gonna call him Norm, wrote a letter to the judge and it's dated March 22nd, 2024. So just three days ago this letter was submitted by Norm. I'm going to read it. I haven't read it yet. I knew that it happened, but I didn't have a copy of the letter until just now, thanks to Lacey Thacker on X. I will link their account in the description below. Go give them a follow. They've been posting some great stuff, some great information about the case. So this letter dated March 22nd, 2024. And like I said, I haven't read it yet. So this is a live reading, a live reaction, if you will. The state has received a copy of Stephen A. Avery's Wisconsin Statute 974.07 motion for additional scientific testing of certain evidence in the above entitled matter. Jurisdiction over this case currently lies with the Wisconsin Court of Appeals. However, and this court lacks statutory competence to rule on the motion. On August 16th, 2022, Stephen Avery filed a third Wisconsin statute motion. The motion was denied April 22nd, 2023, so a year and a bit later. And Stephen Avery filed a notice of appeal in this court August 24th, 2023. On October 5th, 2023, the record was transmitted to the Wisconsin Court of Appeals. The matter is currently in briefing in that court. Once an appeal is pending and the court has been transmitted to the Wisconsin Court of Appeals, the circuit court's jurisdiction over the case ends. A circuit court retains competency to proceed once an appeal is pending, only in certain limited matters as articulated in, and it lists a bunch of different Wisconsin statutes. Uh, if you go to Lacey Thacker's X, she has posted this, so you can go read it for yourself if you're interested in seeing what all of those Wisconsin statutes, I think they are, or laws are. I don't know. In criminal cases, permitted circuit court actions are limited to those articulated in the Wisconsin statute, and it has a number, unless the Court of Appeals remands the case for fact-finding on a particular case. Adjudication of a motion under a Wisconsin statute is not among the actions a circuit court retains competency to proceed upon once an appeal is pending. Jurisdiction over this, and this is bold, jurisdiction over this case currently lies with the Wisconsin Court of Appeals and will remain so until R-E-M-I-T-T-I-T-U-R issues or remand occurs. Returning the record to this court, Avery's motion is improperly filed and cannot be adjudicated at this time. Sincerely, Norm, Special Prosecutor. He is fighting very hard against, I haven't seen, and maybe he's been involved all kinds, but I haven't seen this guy's name pop up in a in an extraordinarily long time regarding this case. Maybe I've missed everything he's done, I don't know, but it definitely seems like he is fighting hard against getting scientific testing done on the RAV4. That he wrote this letter, I don't think he's involved in the case at all anymore. I, I Again, I could be wrong, but he's coming at a left field here with this filing telling the court what the court probably already knows. He's just like trying to put his stamp of approval, his opinion on this. I can't imagine the court or whoever, the judge, whoever is in charge of making this decision, I can't imagine they don't already know what Norm wrote in this letter. So why is he taking it upon himself to make sure the judge, because that's who this is addressed to, making sure that the judge knows the law and knows how to do their job properly. Extraordinarily weird that Norm is popping his head out after 
possibly quite some time to make sure that a judge knows what their job is, knows what the law they're supposed to follow is. Just in case this judge forgot, thank goodness Norm was here to remind them. What do you think? Let me know. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.